So now that that issue is taken care of, we can move on to issue two. But this is good, I'm glad that this happened because problem solving is a big part of this uh, workflow and process, especially when you're, if you're doing something and you've never done it before, you don't have any experience with it, you're gonna need to do a lot more, you know, problem solving, asking ChatGPT questions than what we're doing in here. So issue two, player falls when hit. Right now when the player gets hit, the rigid body two physics makes it fall. To prevent falling, ensure gravity scale is zero on the player. Update the player, the update the player collision script to only reduce health, not affect movement. So it's going to give us an updated player collision script. So I'm going to go ahead and copy that. And then we're going to need to update the game manager. So you can go ahead and copy this code here. So I'm going to go ahead and save that under player collision and now it'll give us the updated game manager so I'll hit copy it's not going to display game over yet because we haven't set up the UI buttons but if you need to you can go ahead and pause the video to copy this right here pause and copy pause and copy pause and copy pause and copy so I'm going to copy this and go back to my game manager. And I'm just going to paste the new code in here. So I hit file and save. We'll just go back to chat real quick. So it's saying that now the player should not fall. Uh, blah, blah, blah. We've already set the gravity scale to zero. Game manager. We fixed our game manager issue. And now all we need to do is test the game. So now we'll go back into Unity and we'll just check, click the player here and make sure that the gravity scale is set to zero, which it is. And now we'll cross our fingers and hit play. And let's see, hopefully things work as expected this time around. So we can move our player. So let's let him get hit and see. Oh, uh, he's still falling. Hmm. So now what we can do is we can say, cool, the only issue I still have is that the player falls when he is hit still and let's just see what it says it's not it's not due to the rigid body settings or I mean it could possibly be but we know that our gravity is set to zero we don't, collision detection continuous freeze Y position so if we freeze the Y position, this will prevent movement on the Y axis. So this, this could be a valid solution right here. And then it's saying if the above, we'll try the above first, but if the above doesn't fully fix it, we can try changing the body type, kinematic. So dynamic just means that Unity's physics affect the player. Kinematic makes the player immune to physics, allowing only manual movement. So. So what we're going to do here is it's giving us another another code. Before we try the other code, let's just go ahead and change the body type from uh, dynamic to kinematic. So we'll go to our player object here, and right now under rigid body 2D, it's set to dynamic. We'll go change this to kinematic, and we'll hit play, and we'll just see if now if the player is not getting affected by physics. So we're going to go ahead and let him get hit a few times here. Okay, cool. So now he's... So now that's an issue, though. So sometimes it's good to just kind of play your game and get a feel for issues that might be happening. Because what we don't want is for this to bounce off of him and then have... So what we need to do is we need to say to chat GPT changing it to kinematic works but now the issue is that the circles the circles don't destroy 
when they hit the player. We need the circles to destroy after they contact the player. So it's saying adjust player settings. So click on the player, ensure it's a box collider, ensure is trigger is checked. But we're not using is trigger, so we don't need to do that. So click on the following object prefab, ensure it as a 2D collider, ensure is trigger is checked. So we might actually need to do this. So let's see. If is trigger is unchecked, Unity treats it as a physics con collision, which won't work since we set the player to kinematic. With is trigger checked, objects can pass through each other but still trigger events. Okay, so we need to go to our prefab. The uh, so go prefab, click our prefab here, scroll down, and under the circle collider 2D, we'll go ahead and check this box is trigger. And I believe it want we need to do the same thing for our player. So. So we'll ensure that is trigger is checked. I'm not sure if this is going to destroy the. If I'm not sure if this is going to do what we want. Um, let's just see here. So step two: modify the on trigger to method to ensure following obvious destroy upon collision. So we'll update the player collision. So you can go ahead and copy, pause, and copy. Pause and copy. So I'll go to my player collision. And this one looks like it might be a bit longer. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and copy this. And I'm going to go ahead and paste. So I'll say, here is my current code. Please update it to work. Dash control V. So I'm paste giving it my code. And now it's saying, blah, blah, blah. So it's saying if the objects still don't destroy, so we're going to need to test this. So I'll go ahead and copy this, and we'll go ahead and paste this into the collision here. So hit File and Save. And if you need to copy this, you can. So go ahead and hit file and save, and then I'll hit play. So now we want our player to get hit a few times. Okay, so this is looking a little better. So now it looks like it's working. So when the circles are hitting our player, they're not bouncing up and down like they were before. So now the player is, I was afraid that this might happen. So now it looks like the game's not ending. Uh, when the player is getting hit three times, but what we're going to do is we'll first we'll set up all of the UI so we can actually see that the timer is working. We'll see the that the damage is being taken, and then because it might not be displaying the game is over right now because our UI is not set up. Uh, so what what we'll do is we'll set up all of the UI like the the buttons and the pause menu and everything, and then from there we'll go ahead and kind of reassess where we're at. But it's a good sign to note that when we're playing now, we've got the player moving, the objects falling, and there's nothing like weird happening. So we can now dodge the objects. We can move on and off the screen like that. And when he gets hit by an object, the object just destroys. It's not bouncing up and down, so this is good. So we're making some progress. So I've scrolled all the way back up to the near the very top. Step six, create the UI setup. So I'm going to go ahead and copy this right here. And I'm going to scroll down. And I'm going to say, I didn't set up my UI yet. And then I'll say, please give me step by step 
instructions to set this up to work with my game. And then I'll do a dash and control V and I'll hit enter. So now let's set up your UI for your timer, health, score, rounds, pause menu, and game over screen so that everything displays, displays properly during gameplay.